his spirit, and he beheld Satan hurled to the earth as lightning. Why? We're going to show you why. So he didn't just just creep up into the, the garden and had a problem with mankind for nothing. Okay? He had an agenda. There's a reason Satan wanted to attack and destroy the creation or the image of the Most High in this earth because he had indignation against the, the Ancient of Days, the Most High Ahaya. Okay? So we're going to show you the serpent's true origin and why he's so adamant with killing and destroying and setting up governments to destroy in the earth. Let's get Ezekiel 28 and 12. Start at 2. Ezekiel 28 and 2. Ezekiel 28 and 2. Read. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord Power, because thy heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am the Most High. I sit in the seat of the Most High, in the midst of, of the seas. Yet thou art a man, and not the Most High. Yet thou art a man, and not the Most High. Why does it say King of Tyrus? See, because since Satan is a spirit, in order for him to execute ruling the earth, he must entice man and set up kings and governments that would do his rule and power in the earth. He must use mankind. So the king of Tyrus, all these different kings, Pharaoh, you name them, were being utilized by Satan. Okay, and he said, and the spirit in the king Tyrus says that I am, and there's none else. So that's Satan claiming to be the Most High. The Most High name is I Am. Go down to the 11th verse. And read from 11 to 17. Verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus. Take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say what? And say unto him, Thus saith the Lord Power, Thou sellest up the sum, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Thou hast, thou hast been and eaten the garden of the Most High. That's how you know it's talking about the serpent and not the King Tyrus in the book of Ezekiel. Because the King Tyrus was not in the garden of Eden. But the spirit that was controlling King Tyrus was in the garden of Eden. The serpent. Read that verse again. Thou hast been in the garden of, of excuse me, that has been in Eden, the garden of the Most High. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, the gold, the workmanship of the tablets and the pipes of, was prepared in thee the day that thou was created. So the day that he was created, he was covered in all these different jewelry and diamonds. Lucifer was his name. The light. The morning star. Okay? He was covered in all types of jewels before he fell. He was one of the original angels. Okay? Before the earth was created. Read. Verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub. That he, cover. he says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covered the mercy seat up in heaven. So there's two cherubs before the Most High, and Lucifer was one of them. It was Lucifer and Michael, the two holy cherubs in heaven before he fell. Read. And I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of the Most High. He said, You was once up there at the holy mountain of the Most High. You was up there with the Most High at one point. Read. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. The stones of fire are the angels. So he had a place above the angels. He was at the holy cherub, a leader of angels. Read. Verse 15. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. So iniquity was found in thee. Until sin was found in him. Okay. Lucifer wanted to be like the Most High. Lucifer wanted to disrespect the power that made him. 
Read verse 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of the Most High, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. So he was thrown out from amongst the stones of fire. The stones of fire are angels. The angels are made of pure fire. Okay? So, Satan was kicked out and had a problem with this decision. So because of that, he made a promise. Go to Isaiah 14. And start at the 12th verse. Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? How did you fall from heaven, O Lucifer? Read. Son of the morning. It, he was called Son of the morning. And the reason why he was called, the reason he was called Son of the morning, he was the morning star. Okay? When a new day is coming in, he was so bright from the heavens, you could see him from the heavens. That's how bright he was. Read. How art thou cut to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? How did you fall, which did weaken the nations? To let you know that he would come in the earth and make all the nations weak. Okay? Through warfare, bloodshed, violence. That's what he'd do. He would creep into government and make the nations weak. Read. Verse 13, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. Now listen to this promise because this is key here. We're going we're gonna to tie this in at the very end. Once he was hurled, Lucifer promised that he would do what? I will ascend into heaven. I will ascend unto heaven. How do you ascend? You have to go up. You have to fly. You have to go above the clouds. So he promised once he was thrown out that one day, he would go back up to where the Most High is. How could he do that without using the physical? How could he get back to the heavens without using the people within the earth? He had a plan. Not only would he try to get back out into space into the heavens, but he would use God's creation to help him fight against the Most High. Read that part again. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. So he promised to go beyond the stars of the Most High, which is space. So we know that the Most High is out there in space because he says, The earth is my footstool. And he said that he would go up to try to sit on the congregation of the Most High. So he, he came into the earth mad at mankind. He needed to take the dominion of the earth to deceive the nations to one day help him get back to the Father to fight. So how could he do that without government? So we're going to go through all the governments from ancient the ancient government to our present time. Read on. I will sit also upon the mount of the, of the congregation. And the sides of the north. The sides of the north is where the most high is. As far north high as you can go, that's where he is. Okay? Read. Verse 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. I will what? I will be like the most high. I will be like the most high. That's what Satan promised. Now in order for him to be like the most high, he must shed this evil stigma, so to speak. Being a serpent, a cunning serpent, he must deceive the Most High's creation into believing he's good. And that the Most High that did this to him is evil. If he, to, if he is to be like the Most High, we know that the Most High, Ahia, the God of all gods, is worshipped. So he must take God's creation 
and have them turn their back on the Most High and worship Him. Okay? Now we must examine the scriptures thoroughly and make sure we're not deceived. That we're following the God that hurled Satan, not Satan. Here's a precept for that to show you that Satan himself would deceive the people and make you think that he's God or Christ. Go to uh, 2 Corinthians 11 chapter and read the 14th verse. 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. Read it. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Read it again. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So Satan himself has transformed into an angel of light. See, if he came into the true form, no one would follow him. So he must make you believe you're following God or the Most High. But he cannot do that again without physical help from the Most High's creation. Read the next verse. Verse 15. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. So there is no great thing if his ministers, because Satan have ministers now, also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. Read. Who's in? shall be according to their works. And their end shall be according to their works. The ministers that are using, that are actually teaching Satan's doctrine. Your end will be according to your works because you should have read and understood what guide you will follow. Okay? But going back, Satan appears as an angel of light. So it behooves everyone that's li listening, learning, that's reading this Bible, it behooves you to figure out if you're following the angel of light who's presenting himself as an angel of light, but it's really Lucifer turned Satan. He's going to deceive you, so the only way you'll know is through these scriptures, through filtering doctrine through scripture. But let's get back on the beaten path here. So we understand. Lucifer was in the heavens. He was hurled into the earth. He deceived Adam and Eve to do what? Go to Job 9 and 24. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read. He covereth the face of the judges thereof. And the wicked will cover the face of the true judges. So because Adam fell, Satan got power over the earth. All dominion was given to Adam when you read that in Genesis, the first chapter. And in the second chapter, you see that he named all the animals. So because of Adam's fall, the earth was given to Satan. Now, He's dealing with a race for time. So before he's judged, he need to deceive the earth with their participation and go back to the Father and take down the Father. That's his mindset. I know a lot of you thinking, well, who can do that? Well, he's the same spirit that tried to go against the Most High before. That, that's the spirit that we're dealing with here. Okay? And he doesn't, he don't care. He'll, if every man and woman die for him to achieve this mission, then he don't care about that either. He'll let that, he don't care. Okay, so the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. He deceived Adam and Eve in the garden. Therefore, there's a war in the earth, a spiritual war. That's materializing the physical against the seed that would come through the Most High and the Most High's people and the serpent seed in the earth. And you're going to find that the serpent, if, read that again, the earth is given to who? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is showing something else too. 